In this screencast, you will need your completed journal entry titled Nerves. We will review the information on this slip, but we will also collect some new information on the left side. Therefore, take a moment to pause this screencast and title the left side Screencast Info. Nerves are part of the nervous system. Question one, that was an easy one. However, you probably didn't realize that the nerves in your hand go all the way up to the shoulder. Question two. Yes, all the way up your shoulder. Nerves can be so long and then they continue through the spinal cord and up to the brain. Remember, nerves help you to pick up an object because sensory receptors in the fingertips gather the information on how the object feels. Its texture, shape, size, etc. Come on. You definitely know the answer to question number three. Sensory receptors gather information and send it to sensory neurons. Sensory neurons send it through the spinal cord and up into the brain, where the thalamus will route the information to the correct brain lobe to help you identify what it is. But prosthetics aren't really designed to allow a person to feel, or are they? I have two really great videos to show you. Both will allow you to discover how scientists are recreating the sense of touch for amputees. So we have to get two new windows open. Navigate to your teacher's webpage and find the two videos. They're titled Sense of Touch Recreated for Amputees 1, and then in the other window open Sense of Touch Recreated for Amputees number 2. That lets you know that you can watch the videos in that order. They're really cool and you're going to see some pretty amazing stuff. So pause this screencast now, open the video windows, and then watch video number one followed by video number two. Any new information you can put on the left side of your journal. So last, I want to make a point about what you read down here about blood vessels. Let me just make sure it stops on the page. You can see here that the arteries are running through the palm and into the fingers. These vessels carry blood. The blood contains oxygen, and the oxygen is delivered to all of the cells. Now, let's think back a minute, way back, to Fern. Remember Fern from Osamac? Fern needed to make glucose through photosynthesis, but then how did she break down that glucose for energy? Yes, cellular respiration. Well, just like Fern, you need to break down glucose from the food you eat. And so you also use the process of cellular respiration. Blood vessels bring your hand cells oxygen to run cellular respiration. Now your muscle cells, bone cells, and all the other cells will have usable energy to generate movement. So cellular respiration is happening at the level of your hand so that it has energy to move. That was a lot of new information. I suggest rewinding and start writing on the left side of your journal. That's it for now.